but malachite, if you've seen it, it's like this really pretty green. It's usually like swirly. I just feel like it would taste good. Stay away from that old viper man. Don't you take that fruit he's holding in his hand. Welcome to Nuggets of Wisdom, where we eat dino nuggets and talk scientific wisdom in celebration of our new exhibit, Dino Days. Crystal, important question. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? I do. Pachycephalosaurus. My first word was pachycephalosaurus. And I used to go, pachycephalosaurus, boom! <laughs> it, it feels rolls off natural. The <laughs> Were you always interested in paleontology, geology then? Well, once I found out to be in paleontology, you have to be outside and get dirty. I was all in. This year, I have an expedition going out to Nebraska to dig up some brontotheres. They're the megafauna, so they're mammals. Thunder beasts. Thunder they're beasts. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's like a long neck. It's like a brontosaurus? So like... Yeah. Um, I heard that rocks are alive. Um, who told you this? <laughs> they have changing molecular structures that will change based on life. Life obviously has a very different chemical formula than non-life, and the minerals can then start leaching out those molecules from life. The thing that excites me the most about rocks is that it's a living library. You're driving down the five freeway and thinking about all the different changes that California has gone through that created all these geologic features that you're looking at. Are there any misconceptions about geology that really bug you? Yes. Growing up, I always felt like paleontology is done in Montana, Wyoming, the Badlands. The biggest shock to me was that California is just as fossil rich. It's right here, it's right in our backyards, you know? We had brontotheres in the bay. So get digging. Watch out for power lines, gas lines. <laughs> Don't dig. Study paleontology. <laughs>